Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how the field of this organite pyramid looks like and how fields of pyramids look like in general. And for this I have a high voltage impulse generator with here set up and underneath there are the coils. You have three bifolar coils underneath the pyramid and they get pulsed and create high voltage impulses. And this, this alternating field that is created um, creates a field in the, in the pyramid itself. So yeah, let's power it on. Our power and this is our output. These are the high voltage impulses that are generated around 1.4 kilovolts and as in the previous video I have this neon bulb and here you can see it lights up if I just go around the surface and on this pyramid we have multiple layers and it's built like a capacitor so we have metal dielectric metal dielectric and so on until to the top so the space in between is filled up with crystals and resins and this is with metals in here so it's like a capacitor and yeah, so it because of this, it also lights up on these parts where there is just resin or crystals and not just the metal parts. But the really interesting thing about where it lights up and where not, so you can determine um, how the field looks like or where is high potential and where is low potential. And as you can see on, on the surfaces here, we, it lights up everywhere. We have potential difference between me and the pyramid. And right at the top, it doesn't light up. Also at the corners, it doesn't light up that, uh, at, on the edges, sorry. It doesn't light up that much. And here at the bottom corners also doesn't light up or around yeah, here and on the sharp edges doesn't it also doesn't light up so yeah this is basically a, everywhere around the pyramid the same and so I thought about this and in a previous video I did some testing with a small Tesla coil this one and yeah basically has a needle where the high potential is and I put this aluminum foil this piece of aluminum foil on top of it and it has four sharp corners and the charge always wants to go off of sharp corners or edges and I will show you a short clip where you can see this. So as you could see, the sparks were coming off the sharp corners and for the pyramid we have kind of the same if you could imagine this is standing on a normal not, normally it's not standing on coils it's standing on a even platform so these edges and these corners are not sharp anymore because it's on a straight plane so what we're left with at the pyramid we have one pointy 
tip right here at the top and these edges but these are not so sharp compared to this tip so naturally the charge wants to escape at the pointiest tip of the object as you could see on the tesla coil where charge did come off of the pointy objects and the same is here so uh, i'll take another one <laughs> with this doesn't react as strong as the other one but it works still works and as you can see on the top it just doesn't light up i have now added a copper py pyramid that is gold plated on the outside and i put it on top of this pyramid so this will also conduct the field very well so it's just for let's say slight enhancement at the top and yeah because this is copper of course it conducts very well but on the top part i've tried this before many times there is one point of just like one millimeters if you if you find that point uh, no matter how I touch it, it just won't light up. Just that one small point where the pointiest point is. Meanwhile, if I put it on there or there, no matter where, it always lights up. So it's really the pointy edges where the charge escapes. And yeah, that's basically how a pyramid works in general, not just only organite pyramid you have. A really big surface that is grounded right we have one potential a big ground potential and then it goes up to a sharp pointy edge at the top where the charges i think they do come in and escape from sharp points it's just yeah natural difference because of the geometry of it and if you put something between the potential difference from ground the big surface and the sharp edge yeah you can maybe use that flow of the field or current i don't know so i think that's about it for this video now if you have any questions leave a comment or a like I would be happy about that. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.